absolutely insane. I think I'm gonna have a heart attack. Today, I am so excited to be building the world's most expensive G-Shock, the Mr. G B5000. And we're gonna be saving almost $5,000 by using these top quality reproduction parts, along with the genuine inside module from my G-Shock. So stick around to the end for the full epic results. This is easily our community's most anticipated build. I am so hyped to get started, so let's take off our host watch. And this is the very last time I am wearing the B5600. If you want to say your final goodbye, check out our Watch of the Week episode. For your convenience, I will be organizing all of the tools and parts you'll need for this build into a list in the description below. And be sure to check out the unboxing video above. So we just lift up on this to go around the buttons. So we'll take our included spring bars. Okay, so I've heard that click. There we go. We're probably gonna remove at least four from each side. Now we do wanna be careful in inserting this into here because it can easily scratch these little links. Always twist it so that it pops out on the inside so that if it does come up and scratch it, you'll never see it because it's on the inside of your wrist. And that's in. Oh, that's spot on. There is our little rubber gasket. So we are of course gonna put that in our Lubri joints. Let's get this module out. So we need to press out this lens without interfering with the solar panel. Press it down. Now see there is a little bit of glue there we go. And that should just come off by hand if we're gentle. All right, it's the most important piece, our little gasket. Hypo Cement, the one recommended by Scooter Bud. And if you are enjoying the video so far, please don't forget to ram that like button. It really does help the channel. Diffuser down. Hmm, so I feel like I went on a little bit thick yeah, there is just a very small dots of something on top of that shock was this logo and I'm not quite happy with it. Okay, it's off. We're going to use some isopropyl alcohol. Take two. Oh, some is squeezed onto the logo there. We're going to have to try again. The bottom part here is starting to look a little worse for wear. I'm not too worried. As I said, it will be covered and we'll have that background on it. Each time that we peel this off, it is removing some of the material. We're through to the gold there and we're through to the red up top. So we really need to be careful. And then we're just gonna hopefully try and peel this all the way. Oh my God. This is so stressful. Oh no, we've already started to come through to the side. Oh my God. Oh. oh, that helps, yes, oh, please. Oh God. Oh. We're gonna cause more damage by peeling this up. So what I might do is just try and clear off this little bit here and then just go the glue on top of it, okay? So what we damaged was that little part there is see-through. Unfortunately, we have lost the top left of the B. So I might have to put some gold paint on there just to touch that up. Guys, this was the last thing I was expecting to have to do with this lens, but I've got my little uh, micro paintbrush as well and we are just gonna touch up the back. The gold is a little bit darker, but it's got that shine to it. You know what, maybe we will mix the two. I'm gonna take a tiny little drop on that corner of the B. Just there. Oh yeah, check out the B on that Bluetooth. That's basically a perfect color match. What a relief. 
As you see, there's also those two little dots just down the bottom left there. So I'm just going to touch those up with my trusty Sharpie. Perfect. We'll put that off to the side. So let's get started with our first little E clip. See that? We've got one off successfully. Now let's grab some of our Rodico. Grab a little bit of this to work with. And uh, guys, if you don't have Rodico, you can also use Blue Tack, by the way. Thanks again, Hans. You've always got some great tips for us. Just going to use this to grab our little E clip there. That went a lot smoother than the screen. Now, one of the great things is these new pushes are actually a little bit longer, so it's going to be nice and easy to press these. You see that? So two rubber gaskets, a washer, and then a little spring. Put the spring there. Here's our awesome golden pushes. Take off the parts. And the... So we'll put one of our old springs on, the genuine Casio springs. Grab our washer first, put that on. There we go. That's there. Yes, check it out. That's one pusher done. All four of our golden Mr. G pushers are locked and loaded. It is now time for us to install the lens. Let's see how that fits in. So we do have a nice seal around the edge there. So here it is, our brand new screw press. We're just gonna make sure that we have the correct attachments installed. We do sort of have this big odd shaped one here. Maybe this will be our best bet. I've got some blue tack here, nice and sturdy. So I have got it as flat as it can go. It's now just up to the watch press. So one side is down. From what I can see, it has not buckled the gasket. It still is a little bit crooked though. We just need to finish pressing it in. We're gonna swap dies. All right, I reckon that's gonna do it. Nice and flush. That is a successful press. Last quick little dust. And let's get our module in. Let's get our gasket out. We give that a few spins. All right, now our rubber gasket is nice and greased. On she goes. Oh yes, look at that Mr. G module. That looks absolutely insane, guys. Holy crap. Smash the like button if you are enjoying the video so far. I am so hyped to get this all back together. So we want it to be on that way. Oh guys, I can feel it already. This is so incredible. I'm so hyped. This has gone so well. Oh, that's just gorgeous. Final step. Let's get the bezel on. Here it is. Oh my God. Looking stunning. Absolutely stunning. He's golden case screws just for that extra flex with the Mr. G. Take a little bit of masking tape like so, just a little bit is all you need. Chuck that on the end. We can now not scratch our gorgeous bezel or screw. Okay, this is the moment of truth, the wrist check. Smash that like button and make sure you are subscribed. It has all been leading up to this moment. Let's take our watch of the week off to make way for the king, the Mr. G B5000. Oh my God, let's get this on. You ready? Oh my God. Look at that glorious design. I think I'm gonna have a heart attack. This looks so good. Oh my God.
would like to get your hands on any of the tools that we've used for this build today or any of the parts themselves, I will be leaving a convenient list for you in the description below. What did you think of our final results? Will you be building your own Mr. G and saving around $4,000? Or would you prefer to buy the original? Here's a link to our previous epic G-Shock upgrade build as well as our watches playlist. A massive shout out to our GOAT crew channel members who got to see this video a few days early. To join us, here's a link. Make sure you're a subscriber so you don't miss our next epic build. And let me know, what should our next build be? Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next review.